Hi, I'm Russ of Aquarimax. Welcome to Your First Tank. This is a video series that will help you set up your first aquarium successfully. As you may already know, substrate simply means whatever you use to cover the bottom of the tank. Substrate is not really necessary in all cases, but it does provide several advantages. One is that it looks more natural than a bare bottom tank, and another is that it provides an anchor for plants and other decor. It even provides additional surface area for beneficial bacteria to help keep your water quality high. There are specific substrates available for the needs of particular plants or fish, but as a beginner, you don't really need to worry a lot about that. Actually, one of the most common substrates for beginners is simple aquarium gravel, just like this. It's available in most pet shops in a variety of colors, but I prefer black or another dark, natural color. You can get gravel that's been dyed neon pink or yellow, for example, but I find it tends to clash with the natural colors of the fish, and pale gravel often washes out the colors of the fish as the fish try to blend in with it. To be fair, there are some situations where pale gravel is best. Whatever color you choose, you should rinse off your gravel first in a soap-free container before putting it into your aquarium. This rinsing process helps to remove fine particles that could otherwise temporarily cloud your aquarium water. Gently stir the gravel, but try not to grind the pieces together, as that could remove the coating of epoxy on some types of gravel. Once the gravel rinse is clear, you can gently pour it into your aquarium. Try to avoid scraping the glass with the gravel as you pour it in, as you could leave scratches. How deep does your substrate need to be? Well, certain setups do require a deeper substrate, but for most beginner setups, it doesn't need to be deep at all. Maybe half an inch, an inch, or even less. A lot of beginners tend to overdo it on substrate depth, and deeper gravel can be more difficult to clean. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of different types of substrates out there, but for now, those are the basics on aquarium substrate. In a later episode, I'll explain more about how to keep your gravel clean. The next episode will focus on adding water to your aquarium and how to condition it to make it suitable for fish.